Today I was in Bloxburg with my boyfriend Dylan when suddenly this woman appeared and asked him if he wanted to be famous. Apparently she was a talent agent and said he could be the next big thing. This offer felt pretty fishy to me at first, but he seemed really excited about it. Guys, this offer seems a little too good to be true. I mean, what kind of talent agent just runs up to somebody in the middle of like the sidewalk and offers to like help them get famous? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and whisper to Dylan. I'm just gonna say, um, are you sure you, ah, are you sure you can trust her? I mean, Dylan's normally pretty skeptical about stuff like this, but he seems like really down right now. He said, Carrie, you're just overthinking things. It seems legit to me. Uh, okay. He just said, do you really think I could be famous? Oh, jeez. She said, oh, yes, of course. With your looks, anything is possible for you. Wait, wait a minute. Hey, Dylan said, awesome. I'm so down to be famous. Is it just me or did she kind of like sneakily hit on him right there? Like the kind of flirting that like only other girls would notice? Or am I overthinking? I don't know, you guys. I, I'm, I'm still feeling a little weird. Tanya just said, fantastic, you'll do great in this industry. You won't regret it. Oh, okay. She just said, in fact, I actually have a modeling gig booked for you tomorrow. T tomorrow? Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense when she just met him. I Dylan just said, really? Wait, he's not questioning this at all? She said, after that, maybe I'll get you into a movie. That seems like a big jump. She just said, good luck tomorrow. Uh, what the? What the heck? That was so so weird. Dylan just said, I'm gonna be famous. Oh, okay, guys, he is freaking out right now. Something still seems kind of fishy about this, but uh, he just looks so happy that I don't wanna like be a downer. So you know what? I guess if he's happy with it, I'm happy. All right, you guys, I am actually at Dylan's modeling gig right now, and I cannot believe that Tanya was being like honest. She actually did book a modeling gig for him. I mean, Dylan looks so happy right now. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected us to show up to a random warehouse and like probably get kidnapped or something. Oh, oh, Pat the photographer just said, okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe he's actually modeling. He just said, just keep doing what you're doing, man. He just said, and perfect, I think we got the shot. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, his first modeling gig is done. Dylan just said, you think I did all right? How did I look? Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna say, you did great. Even the photographer just said, great job, dude. Dylan just said, yes, that's great. He said, Tanya told me if this goes well, she'll be able to land me a role in a huge movie. Guys, this still seems like kind of a long shot, but again, I don't, I don't want to put a damper on things. So I'm just gonna say, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Guys, at this rate, Dylan will be famous in no time. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him. I'm gonna say, uh, well, since you're about to be super famous and busy, do you wanna get lunch? Guys, he may be getting really famous and all, but he's still my boyfriend and I still wanna hang out with him. So he just said, for sure, I'm starving. Oh, what the, Tanya, I didn't know she was supposed to be here today. She just said, ah, hello, you two. Uh, hey. She just said, how was the shoot? I mean, I guess if she is his agent, she should be like checking in on things, but I could have swore it was just supposed to be Dylan coming to the shoot today. The photographer just said, it was fantastic. Dylan's a natural. And Dylan said, it went well, I think. I'm gonna say it was awesome. And Tanya just said, that's great. I will say it was a little standoffish yesterday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, Sorry for yesterday. Uh, thanks so much for this opportunity for Dylan. He's having a blast. Tanya said, oh, it's no problem at all. I knew Dylan had potential. She just said, and Dylan, I have good news for you. Wait, more good news? He literally just got done with his first modeling gig. How could there be like better news than that. She just said, a movie director actually wants to meet with you right after the shoot today. Wait, seriously? Tanya said, you've wrapped things up already, right? And Dylan said, wait, that's awesome. But wait, I was about to go grab lunch with Carrie. I, oh geez. I, well, guys, I don't want to stop Dylan from getting an opportunity like a movie. I, you know what? I'm just saying, um, it's okay. We can get lunch uh, another time. I was just kidding about the busy stuff anyways. Tanya just said, aw, Dylan is so lucky to have such a great girlfriend like you. I'm just gonna say, aw, well, thanks. 
She just said, all right, Dylan, let's get going. Oh, uh, okay, uh, I'm just gonna say, well, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Uh, okay, that was a little abrupt. Guys, I do appreciate Tanya helping Dylan become famous and all, but for some reason, she just gives me the ick. All right, you guys, I am supposed to be getting lunch with Dylan today. Ever since he met with that movie director, his face has literally been everywhere. It's like he became super famous overnight or something. This is the first time that we've been able to manage to like organize some plans to hang out in weeks. But I'm not exactly sure where he is, you guys. He was supposed to be here already. Oh, Dylan! He just said, sorry I'm late. It's been a hectic morning. I'm just gonna say, uh, it's okay. Uh, why are you wearing a mask? Are you sick? He just said, oh, Tanya said I should wear it so I don't get recognized by fans. Oh, he said, I actually had to convince her to even let me to come out to lunch today. Really? I, I guess that makes sense. Uh... Guys, I, I, I don't want to, like, make him feel like I'm, like, not listening to him or anything, so I'm just gonna say, uh, well, it, it must be a, a hard adjustment, uh, but I'm glad you're here now, okay? That's all that matters is that we get to spend some quality one-on-one -on -one time together. Dylan said, of course, I really miss getting to hang out with you, so we're going to make sure to have a great time today. I'm just gonna say, yep, I have so many Land. Okay, we're gonna. What the? Oh, oh my gosh! Who, who the heck is that? Uh, Dylan just said, "Oh no, they must be fans." It's I love Dylan two two two, and Dylan's the best. Oh one. They just said, "Wait, oh my gosh, oh my gosh!" They're literally freaking out, and they just barge into this restaurant. They like, "OMG, can I get your autograph, please, 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 please?" What the heck? Dylan just said, "Um, I'm actually at lunch right now, so." I love Dylan just said, I can't believe I'm meeting the real Dylan. I oh, oh man. Dylan's the best. Oh, one just said, aw, okay. With a sad face. And Dylan said, sorry, guys, they look so disappointed. And they're, and they're just leaving? I, I oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, Dylan, wait, uh, go, go after them. Okay. Just maybe sign a couple of autographs or something. I'm going to say, um, they look so sad. Dylan said, wait. Are you sure? I don't want to take time away from our lunch date. I'm just gonna say yes, okay. Your your career is new and and it could it could look bad if you disappoint a bunch of your fans. I'm just gonna say really, it, it it's okay. He just said, okay, thank you for being so understanding. He said, hey, hold up, I can sign those for you. Oh my gosh. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little disappointed that our lunch got interrupted. But it doesn't mean that he's not going to come right back and we can finish our lunch and everything will be fine. It just kind of sucks that we can't hang out much anymore. All right, you guys, I am on my way to Dylan's house right now to surprise him since we haven't been able to spend much time together. We can't really go out in public without fans like swarming him. So I'm just going to show up to his house and we can watch TV and hang out and it is going to be such a good time. He has no idea I am coming over. I... Wait... What the? What the heck is that? Who's standing at his door right now? I, whoa, 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 whoa! Bodyguard Bear just said, hold it, no fans allowed! Whoa, chill, dude, I'm not a fan. I'm literally his girlfriend. He just said, take it somewhere else. What, excuse me? I have a key to the house. He said, Pfft. I've heard that like 20 times today. I don't buy it. Wait. What? He doesn't believe me. How the heck am I supposed to prove to this random bodyguard that I'm actually his girlfriend? Oh my god, he's yelling at me. I'm just gonna say, whoa, chill out. Seriously, you don't have to be so aggressive. Whoa, whoa, oh, Tanya. There we go, you guys. Okay, it's Dylan's agent. So now I can finally prove my identity. He just said, miss, you need to leave. I'm just gonna say, I'm telling you, I'm not a fan. Tanya! Tanya, tell him, please. He just said, Carrie, what are you doing here? I'm gonna say, well, this bodyguard won't, won't let me see Dylan. Tanya said, oh, I'm so sorry. He's just doing his job? And bodyguard Barrett said, you know this girl? Uh, Tanya said, yes, Barrett, I do. Told you so. <laughs> there, okay, now I can go inside and I can see Dylan and we can actually hang out for once. Uh, Tanya just said, this won't happen again in the future. Again, so sorry about that. I'm just gonna say, uh, thanks. No worries. I'm just gonna go see Dylan now. She could have told the bodyguard he had a 
girlfriend and who I was before she hired him, though. She just said, unfortunately, though, you can't meet with him right now. Wait. What? Why not? He's not supposed to be working today. I she just said, sorry. What? What's going on? She just whispered to me and said, Dylan's just become really famous, so he has lots of new fans. Okay, and I knew that. Tanya just said, some of his fans are girls, and they might get really angry and start rumors about him if they find out he has a girlfriend? <laughs> huh? That makes no sense. Okay, we were literally dating before he got famous. She said, I know, I understand that you were together before his fame, but do you really want to be the reason his fame gets ruined? Well, no, is it really that serious? She said, I knew you would make the right decision. Uh, okay. She said, I'll arrange a time and date for you and Dylan to hang out soon. Uh, she'll arrange a time and date, wait, what? She said, I'll keep in touch. See ya, right, uh, what? And she gets to go inside? Uh, so much for my surprise, guys, this sucks. Guys, I am so upset right now. I mean, I understand what Tanya meant earlier, I guess, that his fans might be upset if he had a girlfriend. I, I don't know, but why did she have to say it like that? She just, like, saying that she would arrange a time for us to hang out. I mean, I just want to hang out with my boyfriend. I, wait, what the? Tanya just knocked on my door. What the heck is she doing here? What is she doing at my house at 10 p.m.? She just said, hey, Carrie, mind if I come in? Uh, sure, you're already here. Might as well. Uh, I'm gonna say, is everything okay? She just said, thanks. No, no, Dylan is fine. I just wanted to come over and say sorry. Wait, what? Uh, sorry for what? She said, I was being really rude to you earlier. Wait, oh my gosh, you guys, is she... She's actually apologizing for that. She said, I'm sorry. She said, to be honest, Dylan got famous way faster than I expected. I mean, yeah, I think he got famous faster than anyone expected. She said, so handling everything has been really tough. I I'm just going to say, I, I understand. Uh, it's okay. I mean, guys, I will say I, I was really upset, but I, I didn't actually expect an apology. And it looks like everyone in this situation has been pretty stressed out. Uh, maybe I could be a little more understanding. You guys, I felt kind of bad, so I let Tanya stay over for a little bit, and we have just been, like, chatting and hanging out, and she's actually so cool. We have been having such a good time. I mean, guys, I didn't even realize the time. It's midnight already. Literally, time just flew by. Tanya just said, well, it's getting pretty late. I'm just gonna say, yeah, I didn't even notice. She said, I should probably start heading home now. I'm just gonna say, okay, for sure. She said, hanging out with you has been so much fun. I'm just gonna say, I agree. It's been a great stress relief. She said, we should totally do this again sometime. Guys, I know that I was like a little judgmental of Tanya at first, but she has totally grown on me. She is way cooler than I thought. And I think I was just kind of being judgy and mean. But you guys, I am a mean so, um, I'm probably gonna hit the hay once Tanya leaves, but I do want to make sure that I walk her out. Oh, she just said, oh. Uh, yeah, what's up? She said, um, Tanya, is everything okay? Uh, what's, what's going on, guys? She just started looking super nervous. She said, I totally forgot the other reason I came over to see you. Uh, there's another reason? I, I thought it was just for her to apologize. She just said, yep. Um, guys, what's going on? Why is, why is she fidgeting so much? She said, how do I tell you what? Just say it, what's going on? She said, well, I did come over to apologize, but also to tell you that um, Dylan wants to end things with you. Wait, what? He, huh, Dylan wants to break up with me? What? That's what you forgot to tell me? What are you talking about? She said, I, I don't know why. Uh, seriously, well, what What did he say? She said, I've been trying to ask him why too. I, this doesn't make a any sense. This is the worst. What? Uh, hold on a second. She, she said, I don't know. Maybe the fame is getting to his head. I, I need to talk to him. I, I can't just let him break up with me with no explanation. 
She said he hasn't told me the real reason. Okay, well, if he won't tell you anything, he sure as heck gonna tell me. She said you should probably wait before you talk to him. What? Why? I, I, can, I can go there right now. She just said if the fame is getting to his head, talking to him might be bad. She said, I'll try to convince him to change his mind. Uh, okay, I mean, he hardly knows you, but do, do what you can, I guess. She said, I still had a really good time hanging out with you and really hope we can hang out again in the future. Yeah, me too. Guys, I am I think I'm in shock. I, she said, bye, Carrie. Sorry again. Bye. I, guys, what the heck? I, I cannot believe Dylan actually dumped me because he got famous. You know, I, I know Tanya just said not to talk to him, but at this point, I don't even want to hear his reason. I'm just angry and want to yell at him. So I am doing something about it. I don't even care. If fame is really getting to Dylan's head, then I'm about to slap some sense into him because he could have at least broken up with me in person instead of sending his manager. Wait, wait, speaking of manager. Guys, Tanya's car is literally in the driveway. What the, what the heck? She was, I thought she was going home. It's literally midnight. What the, hold on, what's going on here? What are you talking, is Dylan, hold on, is Dylan crying? He just said, I, I can't believe it. Wait. What? I can't believe Carrie dumped me. Huh? Dumped you? Well, I didn't dump him. He dumped me. What? What? What are they even talking about? Tanya said, I know, Dylan. I'm so sorry. I don't know why she did that either. What? Guys, I am so confused right now. Tanya was just at my house. She literally just said Dylan dumped me. And now Dylan's crying? Tanya just said, everything will be okay. Guys, why the heck is Tanya acting like I dumped him? I... She just had a conversation with me. Tanya just said, oh, I have an idea. Wait, what? Tanya said, I'll bring you to one of my favorite spots in Bloxburg so you can take your mind off Carrie for the meantime. Wait, what the? What the heck? She, uh, she's taking him to the pier in the middle of the night. She just said, come with me. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're coming this way. Hold on, I gotta get in my car, I gotta get in my car. Guys, what the heck? Why is Tanya acting like that? I mean, she knows. That she was literally just at my house. She just told me that Dylan broke up with me. Wait, guys, I think I just realized what the heck's going on here. And there is no way I can let that happen. I've got to follow that car. Okay, you guys, I am pulling up to the pier right now and I literally see Tanya's car. I'm going to park over here. I don't know where they're at right now, but they've got to be nearby. Oh, oh, wait, guys, I think I see them. I think I see them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way and try to get a better view. There they are, there they are, guys. I literally see them talking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Tanya just said, this place always cheers me up when I'm feeling down. Oh, haha, -ha, a beach, shocker. Everybody loves the beach, Tanya, you're not special. Dylan just said, this sucks, being famous sucks. Oh, guys, he looks so upset right now. And y'all, and y'all, if my suspicion is correct, this is about to get really bad. Tanya just said, hey, it'll be okay, Dylan. Carrie isn't the only girl on the planet. Well, I might as well be, okay, because you know what, you guys? You would have decided, Tanya, not a girl's girl. She's, she's, she's a mean girl, not a girl's girl. Don't like her. She said, in fact, if you really want to date someone, you can be with me. Yes, I knew it. 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 Tanya put all of this together because she wanted to date Dylan herself. Dylan just said, huh? Wait, what? What are you talking about? She has been subtly trying to separate us this entire time. <gasps> that explains the bodyguard situation and taking him to meet the movie director when we were supposed to have lunch. I bet she even told those fans where we were having lunch that day. Tanya said, Carrie was never the right girl for you anyways. But since I already work with you, we'd be the perfect match? Okay, guys, I've seen enough. I knew Tanya was fishy from the start, and I'm not letting this go any farther. Tanya, back up! I'm gonna say stay away from him now. She just said, Carrie? Oh, yeah, don't act so surprised. Dylan said, Carrie, what are you doing here? I'm just gonna say, Tanya set all this up. I didn't end anything. I'm gonna say, she told me you did. Dylan said, what, you didn't break up with me? No, I didn't. And you clearly didn't break up with me either. Dylan just said, Tanya, is this true? 
tell the truth, Tanya, okay? She just said, uh, um, yeah, you've been caught. Tanya just said, fine, fine, fine. Yes, it's true. Ha! Told you so. I knew it. I knew this girl was, I knew she was fishy. I knew this was weird from the beginning. She said, you should be with me and not Carrie. What? Excuse me? She said, the only reason you're famous is because of me. She said, not Carrie. Okay, you're so dumb. If you literally think that's a good enough reason, that doesn't make any sense. Tanya just said, look, Dylan, if you choose to be with Carrie, she's taking away all your fame. What? Huh? Is she literally threatening him that if he stays with me that she won't be famous anymore? Dylan said, that's fine with me. Wait, but... But you worked hard for that. Okay, she may have gotten all the gigs, but you were still the one doing the work. Tanya said, you you just throw away all your fame, your future, just like that? Okay, well, he still has a future, but I mean, I, I agree. That does seem like a lot. Dylan just said, yeah, being famous is fun and all, but what's the point if I can't have Carrie by my side? Oh my gosh, wait, that was so nice. Tanya just said, what? I can't believe you're so stupid. What? Excuse me. I and she just ran off. Well, yeah, get lost, Tanya. Nobody liked you anyway. Okay, well, guys, I kind of feel bad that Dylan doesn't get to be famous anymore, but she was the worst. So at least I still have a boyfriend.